Joe is powerless by episode five. What we're seeing for the first time is what happens when Joe McMillan doesn't get what he wants. He wakes up hurt and generally pretty angry at things. Nothing is really going right. Joe's got this ritual every morning. It's like a warm up. Boil out the kinks, swing the bat a few times, and get a perfect swing before he leaves in the morning. But he doesn't want anyone to think he's less than 100% on his game. He's aggressive and fighting all the time. So he's not going to leave the door until he is ship shape. What if we swapped out the CRT for an LCD? We had way over our budget. Well, if you know a guy. He's under his father-in-law's thumb, and he hates that. He hates going back to him, but he's put into a place where he has to. Sounds like you got a really good relationship with the guys over at Kazoku Electronics. This is a key element to making the machine they have dreamed of making and that they're very close to making. What are you doing arranging a vendor meeting without me? He only cares about strength. He's looking at power. That's what he wants to be associated with. You want our computer to be under 12 pounds and slim as a briefcase? This is how we do it. This is really a power dynamic going on between Gordon and Joe. Everything that Joe exudes, Gordon wishes that he had. Gordon, the engineer, has never set up a business meeting like this before. It makes him feel confident, but at the same time, it's unwieldy. Take my father-in-law. <laughs> Have you ever even looked through the razor's edge? I mean, you wouldn't believe the schlock that guy sells. It is his ego that undoes this actual stroke of genius. He's drunk. Gordon's a very flawed person, and it's a very specific way to see him fail. Joe, I hate to bust your bubble, but you didn't save a damn thing. That is the first time that Joe really gets underneath Gordon's skin and hurts him in a place that's deep and emotional. Gary did. After I went to his house and asked him, no, I begged him, got down on my knees, they're both poking each other so much emotionally that the only way for Gordon to make his point is to humiliate himself to humiliate Joe. Joe Sr.'s in the episode, and he doesn't interact with Joe at all. And in fact, they're like ships passing in the night. Do you want me to call your father? What? Your father. You just missed him. Just the scent of his father fills him with incredible insecurity. Call him and tell him I'll meet him at the lobby bar at 1 o'clock. With Joe, there is a chaotic, very emotional feeling about his father. It's a big feeling. It's a feeling that looks like envy, a feeling that looks like revenge. Joe admires his father, and I think that's very important because he wants to be that man. But the only way I want to sit in front of him is with an awesome machine. So I'm baiting a trap for him to show up so I can watch his disappointment. Sorry, hope I didn't scare you. I'm Joe McMillan. You're asking yourself when you look at Joe Sr., wow, this is the man who gave rise to Joe McMillan. Is he a manipulative monster, or is that largely in Joe's head? Your dad's lucky to have a daughter. I bet you'd never stand him up if he came to see you. All of a sudden, the stranger knows a trigger for her. But in a moment alone, she realizes that Joe's father is manipulating her. And she has to outsmart him at that point. Well, if you say something with the right authority, you generally get what you want. And she is able to take what she's gathered from that conversation, apply it to her own life, and go back and get the job that should have been hers in the first place. You're fired. How many of you got sucked into adventure last night? And how many of you got out of the cave by breaking the code? It's very theatrical. She's really performing the role of manager as a way of showing Joe that she can do it. She's taking the job in the only way that he would respect. Steve, I'll write you a nice letter of recommendation. And Joe is full of pride. She's a winner. Your dad came by the apartment. We end that episode with just a swell of, I don't have control over my life. Go Nuts is presented to him, and he goes nuts. <laughs> When you see Joe unhinged like that, you're asking yourself as a viewer, what is this guy capable of? He's getting out all the rage against his father, all of the powerless feelings he's had throughout the entire episode, and he's letting the facade slip 
of this button-down, perfectly controlled machine in a beautiful suit.